Good morning folks, welcome along to the vlog on a Sunday edition. Can you believe it? Yeah, well it's just gonna be a brief one today. Uh, I've actually come in to set up the HRT and get the recipe out for tomorrow's brew day. We're going to brew um, the proof of concept again tomorrow. It went down so well that uh, people are crying out for it, so that's the plan. So all we really have to do over here is kind of uh, just turn on the control panel, turn on the HLT isolation valve, valve <laughs> switch. <laughs> uh, the lights have come on at the side of the HLT on the uh, scale there. We're gonna set the HLT to 80 degrees C. We're gonna turn it on, which is this one. And then we're going to go into the program here and we're going to have a look at exactly what we've got on this program. It said program one, nothing, program two, off at five o'clock. So that's when we left it to do a CIP. So what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to reset. We're going to reset that. So now there's nothing on the programs and uh, come back out and go back in again so we want this to come on at around four o'clock in the morning and that's all we need that's good so just double check that's going to come on at four in the morning and then there's nothing else it's just going to come on at four o'clock in the morning every day if we let it and then what we're going to do is press the reset button well should i say the auto on and off button until this little section there toggles up to auto and it says auto and then that's ready to come on also what I'm going to do on the side here is just turn on the HLT pump and make sure that that's all connected and open correctly so we've got the HLT I'm going to come in to the pump at the bottom of the tank down there and then up through this copper pipe through this ISO valve and back in the top. I know we're full because we filled the tank up just the other day. So if you listen, there's no water going into the tank from the mains if I turn that valve on. So that means we're full, ready to go for tomorrow. So all I have to do in the morning is we'll throw the grain in the mash tun. I'll probably weigh it out tomorrow morning actually. We'll mash in and then while I've mashed in, We'll put a little bit of acid into our already clean boil kettle. We'll recirculate that acid around a little bit to make sure that the plate chiller and all the filters and everything else have uh, had a good uh, sanitation process. Then we'll dump that acid out and uh, we'll continue with the mash. And then while that goes, with the boil should I say, or the brew day, and then while that's happening, we will also uh, get hold of the pump, connect it up to this fermenter, recirculate some caustic, give it a rinse and then recirculate some acid through the whole thing. I've just spotted a little bit of water down there on the floor, I'm not sure where that's come from. Perhaps from the thawing of the chilli unit because of course on Friday we emptied all of the tanks which meant that we didn't need to have the glycol chiller on. So generally I just turn the whole thing off and if that drops below obviously freezing or rises above freezing, should I say more correctly, then any ice crystals or anything that's on the outside of that tank is of course gonna melt, leaving a wee little condensation trail there like, but uh, I don't think that's anything to worry about. Certainly not a glycol leak because there would be much more than that. Right, there we go, folks. So I uh, hope to see you on tomorrow's vlog when we uh, mash in for the proof of concept for a second time. I'm actually looking forward to this. Uh, it's a really good beer to brew. And I don't know why, but I'm really just getting back into the brewing again. I've had quite a little bit of time finishing off some other projects and what have you. And uh, I really want to get my teeth stuck into brewing. And of course, 
when we made that brown ale on the fly the other week, I should have listened to the advice that everyone was giving me, particularly Tony, uh, because I pretty much ended up with a sweet brown ale. Uh, so it's making me think, and this is a premiere here, it's making me think that we may build a pilot kit for the brewery, uh, which will be a whole, a whole new series of videos for sure. Right, we'll see you tomorrow, folks. Cheers.